So look at the night sky Through a crack in the window You never know what you might find Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It is a week in my life in college. I used to do these videos all the time in high school and they were your favorite videos to watch and my favorite videos to make. So I'm bringing them back for college. Kira's here, of course. And I just finished my classes for the day. I have some new and improved um, room updates to show you guys. I also vlogged yesterday, so I'll insert that here. I just got back from our new member retreat. We went to this park called Chautauqua with like a gorgeous mountain view. And we had Shake Shack and donuts and we painted letters and we made like dog blankets for our service hour. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh my gosh, did I paint the wrong side of this? Did I paint the wrong side of this? No, I don't think I did. Wait, I didn't. It was just mirrored in the camera. Anyway, today is Sunday. This is our new member retreat. Oh, you look so good. So this is Cam Cam. We got our burgers. The, these are not both for me, okay? Don't worry. Are you gonna go get a burger? Of course I'm gonna get a burger. Hell yeah. We're gonna get burgers, we're gonna munch, and then we're gonna do some crafts. Okay, update people are getting really creative. There's like bags and frames and letters. What? That's so Hi guys, cool. we're at okay. Chautauqua. Okay. We're making blankets. Okay, guys. Yes, go D! We wanted to say hi. I'm Caroline. I'm Erica. And that's Hey, I'm Reese. Like the candy. It's 2.41 and we have lots of errands to run today. We're going to a frat car wash that a fraternity and sorority are doing together. So that'll be fun. And then we're also gonna go to Target at Trader Joe's and run all our errands before the week. So I'll take you guys along. We were out there for so long and it was like, a million degrees, but it was really fun. Also, apparently, Travis Kelsey yes. and Taylor Swift are dating. Literally, Taylor. And I'm a Kelsey. Chiefs fan, so. And Emily's a Chiefs fan, so it's a big deal. We are a mess. So we need to get organizers at Target. Yesterday was a super fun day. We were out like on the hill, which is, I explained this a little bit in my previous video, but that's where all like the nightlife is and all the upperclassmen live there and all the fraternity and sorority houses are up there. So we were there all day watching the game and hanging out and I came back here and took the best nap of my life. I have to get a command hook to hang this back up because it fell down. I thought this was Alex Earl. That's it is just Alex the most Earl. heinous photo of me though. That's the thing. So I had a nosebleed in the study room the other day. But isn't she serving? So we whipped out a or pad. Or the only thing we had was <laughs> Wait, Kira's panty liner. Yes, that's the point. Oh, I didn't even Kira's know panty liner was my only option. We need to clean and Sunday reset the place. Yeah. And do laundry. Yeah. And we need to put a different top on. Oh, this one's a little booby. Also, look at my hands. I got paint all over them. Oh, this one's not as bad. We made it to Target and we're buying everything that we don't need. I don't know where any of this is going. We don't have room for half of this. The major item on our list is this trash can. I'll tell you why. Basically, we went to take out the trash the other day and Kira fully threw away our recycling bin because we didn't have any bags at the time so the recycling bin was gross. And I showed it to her and I was like, can you fish like whatever is in the bottom of here out? It was just like gross and stuck to the bottom. And she, picture this, like chucks the recycling bin into the dumpster. So now we have to take out the trash like every day because we only have one little tiny trash can so we had to get that big one. Now I'm trying to find a straw cup because I want to start making chais in the dorm but I don't really have a reusable cup for ice drinks. I'm getting this kids one because they don't have any small enough adult ones. How are we gonna separate all of this? Oh, this is a disaster. No, this thing is gonna break day one. It's so cheap. <laughs> no! Do we have big enough trash bin? Okay. There you go. Ours is not no, big. Our trash trash can is oh, tiny. <laughs> This room is a sty, and we're gonna clean it. I'm gonna try to give you guys a haul of everything we got. Olipop, the kids cup, Celsius. I also really, really hate the shampoo that I bought, unfortunately. It's this one, I really don't like it because it doesn't get sudsy enough, so I bought these ones from Kristinus. This is some of the stuff we got at Trader Joe's. Emily bought mochi, and I'm also gonna try to make the chai that I was talking about in the dorm with this stuff and oat milk. And we were also running out of bowls. More from Trader Joe's. We got chips and salsa. Emily's. Poppy, what are those? Cranberry pomegranate. seeds? Pomegranate seeds, kettle corn. These things are freaking insane. They're so good. This is the oat milk I got. Oh, this. Oh, something leaked in here. No, what? I think it was the pomegranate seeds. Corn dip, everything but the bagel something. Yeah. Tissues, dusting stuff. We got Swiffer stuff. What else? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, candy corn pumpkins. 
So this is our fridge for now. Dun, 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 dun. Super stocked up. We're gonna try it all later. We did have to throw away my mixed berries. Um, I got basically <laughs> voted <laughs> out. I'm yeah. so excited for and these. And we got three of these. And a bunch of soup dumplings and our ice. This is already looking so much nicer and more organized. And we're gonna put all the cups. What is this? Coupon. Let's go. <laughs> we're gonna put all our cups that I'm about to wash. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no, what was that? Up here by the drink oh, station. Yeah. The last thing I got was a pillow because I was originally trying to save money and I got the cheapest pillow and it was a mistake. It's just flat and not comfy, so I'm hoping this one works out better. Anyway, we have a lot to do, so I'm gonna roll the montage. First things first is to clean these disgusting dishes. I always leave a little bit of a mess in here after I get ready for my classes in the morning. I don't know why this is here. Anyway, Emily gave me her spare curtain, so I'm gonna get a rod and hang curtains here, and I think it's just gonna look way nicer, because this is there's no way to make this look super organized, because I have all these random organizer, like, space saver things in here, and it's just not cute. So I think with curtains, it'll be much more appealing. These are Emily and Kira's closets, and it just looks so nice with the curtains hung so i'm copying it anyway it's a very exciting week the mirror is dirty because matt comes to visit on friday for the usc game and i for sure get to live in the sorority house next week like the whole point system or next week next year because the whole point system thing is up so that's super exciting i don't have to look for housing or anything because i know for sure that i'll be in the dg house i'll keep you guys updated throughout the next few days for a little mini week in my life. I just got my paper back from my history class. It was the first college paper I had to write and I got an A, which is really exciting. I didn't really agree with the points he was making, so I was kind of worried, but he liked it, so that was good. The class isn't super hard. It's the one that's in my dorm, so it's not as big of a lecture and the teacher doesn't grade as harsh, but I'm excited about that because it was my first time writing paper for college. Now that I have the currents for this, it's driving me crazy that I don't have a rod to hang them up. Anyway, on the whole note of the essay, I have a lot more homework to do this week, like a lot of catch up stuff because I didn't do much work over the weekend, but it should be another good busy week of college. This is like the fifth week, I think. I've said this before, but I feel like I really am finding more of my groove and my routine every day. And I love it here and the friends I'm making and October is gonna be such a crazy busy month like every weekend something big is going on i'm trying to stay as organized as possible and stay on top of things and just soak it all up because i know it's gonna go by fast now that i'm getting more settled in as far as the rest of the day goes i have a chapter meeting tonight just homework editing stuff to do like usual laundry i was gonna try to do that yesterday but i just didn't even want to go to the laundry room because it was sunday and i didn't feel like waiting for a machine to open up oh and i wrote down that i really want to start this book it's been sitting on my shelf i've had it since like mid-summer i want to say it's been sitting on my shelf it's called undistracted and it's by bob goff and if you've been watching my videos you might know that i have adhd and i feel like there's always things distracting me and we live in a world where distractions are everywhere with our phones and everything like that so i'm really excited to read this and share about it with you guys because i just want to be better about reading i have what did you guys miss me uh Nora's back. Oh, like, hey, hey, vlog. We're vlogging. Anyway, I'm gonna start this tonight, so I'll keep you guys updated on this and I will link it. I'm telling you this because I want to hold myself accountable and actually read. It's 128. I edited a TikTok and I have decided I'm just gonna go to the hardware store and find a shower rod or a curtain rod. Hopefully I can do this quick, go to the library, get all my stuff done, and then go to Delta Gamma for dinner. I'm praying that this will stay propped in here for my bike back. It fell out twice, but I'm just holding it and riding, and it's working. Yeah? It's too big. Oh, sure? what if I just put it on the outside? No, you can adjust it, right? Oh, no. That's the dumbest thing I've ever done. It could go on the outside, but I just think it looks crappy. Oh, yeah, it looks <laughs> so bad on the outside. I was literally so proud of myself, too, for not, like, paying for transportation and it's taking so the bikes. That's my sign that today is not the day. I need to go return this stupid rod. I might be able to do it on the inside. That might work. That looks better. Should I do it on the inside? Should I go back and get the right one though? What do you think? Is this your side? Her rod looks bad. 
Perfect. That? Look at that. Yeah, wait, how okay, it works. That? I figured it out. I'm just gonna call this good enough. And I wanna steam these, but the steamer is not working. It just spits out water, which is scary because it's like really hot water. I'm gonna go to the library and crank out all my work before chapter. Dinner I love making is here. Nice. You wanna say hi? Hey. This is Kelby. <laughs> what up? Adel and Cam. I had a midterm today. I got a 65. So. Oh, so she's doing good. I'm doing great. My best friend comes tonight. Do you know tonight? Yeah. I'm actually tomorrow. Can I have a bite of your Wait, for dinner, we're having roast beef. <laughs> Um, it makes it sound so unappetizing. Roast beef pork chop. It's actually really good. Katie, how was your week? It was good. I saw Katie at the farmer's market. So we went to the farmer's market on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I watched the game at Illegal Pete's. That was fun. Not, it was not a fun sad game. game. Oh yeah, I saw you. Oh yeah. It was fun weekend. Got some good cuts of meat. That looks disgusting. DG. It looks disgusting. It's Show so your cut. Oh. That's a rough cut. And it's also Barb's birthday. Happy birthday, Barb! So there's cake and cupcakes. Barb is the house mom for Delta Gamma. Hi guys, updates way later. I got back from chapter. We had our chapter meeting and our member meeting. I called my mom on my way back from the house and I just heard her voice and I kind of had a little bit of a breakdown. Oh, it was like a series of Something's wrong with this. It was a downward spiral because I called my mom and I heard her voice and I just like realized how much I missed her. She was talking about how she was making dinner and I was just thinking about how badly I wanted to eat a home cooked meal. And then I got back in the dorm and I was trying to open my closet to get my laundry basket out and the curtain rod like came crashing down and i was like you've got to be kidding me after the whole hardware store thing and it's also my grandma in heaven's birthday so it's just been kind of an emotional night in the basket period i really hope there's no one else in here i did not check anyway i was at the point where i was crying and my roommates were like why are you crying and i was like i'm literally don't know like i have nothing to actually cry over it was pathetic anyway i'm good now i got it out but it just feels so wrong to vlog and act like i didn't have a sad night or i didn't have emotional moments and just act like everything is perfect because like this morning i was having a great day i was so excited about being here and i was feeling good and adjusted and then i called my mom and i broke down because i miss her and I'm learning that it's okay to have bad days. Everybody has to have bad days. And without bad days, it's a lot harder to appreciate the really good ones. Kira just texted me. I keep going on tangents. I'm going to fill you guys in on my thoughts and the rest of the day. What's great about having faith in Jesus is that the Bible says that we will have trials in our life. That we will have troubles. But the Bible says we can take heart because... God has already overcome the world and has overcome all of our struggles. The tripod is sitting inside this paper towel roll. Good morning vlog. It is Tuesday, it's almost 10, and I'm back from class. Usually I have two classes these mornings, but I have not been going to my second class. It's biological anthropology. I hate it, to be completely honest. It's all like hour and a half lectures, and he posts all of the lectures and the lecture transcripts, and so what I've been doing is like listening to them as podcasts on my walks. It's a very interesting class. Our only assignments are quizzes, and there's no like final at the end of the year, but it's a really hard class. Like he told us that the class average for every class that he's taught he's been teaching this for like 12 years or something has been a 72 percent and i'm so grateful that the final's optional i got it this morning i felt like a zombie waking up it felt like so early but i got up and got ready people are i swear i'm getting emails about signing attempts for my venmo and i get like spam calls all the time like people are constantly trying to hack my venmo anyway that's besides the point. I'm gonna try to get some stuff done right now and then I'm going to a core power class with Cami and some of my friends from my sorority and that'll be good. I'm trying to get on a better workout routine. I love going to core power and I wanna go to the rec more often because there's a bunch of classes there and I signed up for the semester class pass but I also wanna like get outside and like do, go for runs and stuff while it's still warm here. I don't know. It's hard to do outdoorsy things without a car. I was saying yesterday Uber gets so expensive and taking ubers just like eats up my money so fast it adds up really fast so i'm trying not to i kind of regret not bringing my car so i might bring it second semester but at that point it's gonna be like crazy weather and i've never driven in the snow so i just have to see and make that decision and i don't have like all-wheel drive or anything on little margo i miss her margo the mazda 
she's in home I and mean, she's in the garage at home we have more fun events tonight we have sisterhood which is like a bonding event with kai omega and i have some friends in that sorority so we're gonna go to that house i guess and just eat cookies and hang out later oh you want to see the freaking curtains gone i got to the point of like such frustration last night that i almost threw them because they wouldn't stay and now they're just sitting here i have to do my laundry i'll take you guys along for all the fun stuff the rest of the day it's gonna be a great day i'm really glad that all the craziness from the point stuff if you didn't see my vlog i think it was one or two before this one i was talking about how we had to rack up points to live in the sorority house because there was however many girls in our like member class and only half can live in the house so now our points are rolling over again for like room picks so we still have to earn them but it's not as intense and chaotic and my friend cammy has her car here and she's gonna pick me up in like 45 minutes so i'm gonna try to check a few things off thank god for layla's height she fixed the curtains my, my queen friend. you're literally about the builder amazing Oh, it's not coming down. It was never that stable before. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! We are dead. We're dead. We should have signed a waiver before that class. <laughs> Too bad we She's can't- like CrossFit. Too bad we can't bring our phones in because like if people could see, like you're like, oh, I'm going to yoga. No, that was like- Yeah, yeah, yeah. That she was, was not really yoga. odd about phones. Like she really didn't want anybody in there bringing in their phone. Yeah. Which is fine. Like I understand because it's like a workout, but it was so brutal. It was literally like, we were like snatching, literally. It, it was, was CrossFit. CrossFit. It was CrossFit. Literally. It was good for us because we sweat and we worked yeah, out. Yeah, it was so. good. That's now, the cutest thing I've ever seen too. What is that? I don't know. Is it a bar? I don't know. It looks like a diner. So Called much to explore. Barchetta. Yeah, there's a lot that we need to see still. We need but to Cammy has a car. So we're going to Sweet Green right now. We're going to Sweet Green. I'm so excited about it. It's like my favorite thing ever. I've and never we're gonna been, get... so Katie's going to culture me. We're going to get salads or bowls. Oh, Either wow, one. I'm so here for this. Yes. Yay! Woo! Back to our worship music. Hi guys, it's Wednesday. I literally cannot believe how fast this day has gone by. It feels like I've done so much, but also nothing at all. It's already four o'clock and it's so hot outside. It's like 85 degrees and I'm sweating. I just walked back from the Delta Gamma house because I had like a big little date, basically in all the sororities here. And I think it's a nationwide thing too. Every new member gets a big, which is like someone who's a sophomore. And then eventually when I'm a sophomore, I'll get a little. So we've been going on like dates with the girls to pick our bigs and for them to pick their littles. So I just have one of those and I went and picked up my package First thing that I got is my frother. I'm gonna try to froth my oat milk tomorrow to see if it will help make the chai creamier. And this one was on sale, so I got it on Amazon. I was also supposed to go to the gym with Kira and Nora, but clearly that is not happening. I'm just feeling a little bit stressed about all the stuff I have to do today because I feel like I've been running around like crazy, but I haven't actually gotten anything done. Second thing I got is new deodorant because mine's almost out and... I don't want to be smelly. That's all for the haul. Not that exciting, but I'm going to clean up a little bit. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. And then I have to go back to the house at like 6 o'clock-ish because we're baking dog treats for the service hours because Delta Gamma's philanthropy is service for sight. Our chapter works with the Boulder Guide dogs and various different organizations. So tonight we're baking treats at the house for the dogs. I don't know where if I just put my phone. I literally feel like such a hot mess today. Just like discombobulated so i'm gonna get it together i need to wash my sheets edit this vlog i have a history exam due on monday it's like a take-home exam and i'm gonna try to finish that i might do it tomorrow i just want to finish it before matt comes and then i also need to buy my ski pass it's expensive but it evens out if you go more than like three times it's worth it i'm not a good skier i can't imagine myself going like every weekend but i'm sure i'll go more than three times so that's the plan i need to turn on the ac i'm actually sweating my butt off i'm gonna drink another one of these because i feel like i need a little pick me up or something and i'm saving my celsius for my 8 a.m tomorrow it's hot i'm gonna put away this stuff too that was hanging from the laundry yesterday i have all this set out for later too i'm gonna oil my hair and then use this shampoo i got at target on sunday i just feel like it's been getting so oily so fast and it needs a good wash this is also dirty i literally cleaned it yesterday i don't know how i do this i'm back and i'm about to do my 
hair stuff. I got this massive pizza pizza piece of pizza for dinner. It was huge and it was so good. And then I went to the house and we baked those dog treats. Did you miss me from five minutes ago? What the f is it? Oh, sorry. Watch your mouth. What is this, guys? This is the little hair massager thing. I'm going ham. Do you want to like, do it with me? Yeah, what is it? I'm going to oil my hair and then I'm going to put the hair mask in and when I go in the shower. I've seen this. Like, oh, what is it? Like a, a full shower? Right? Everything shower. And everything mm -hmm. shower. You're everything showering? I'm glad to be back a little bit early. I thought I lost my ID card. They're called Buff One cards. This is actually very embarrassing. I always leave mine stuck to my Octobuddy, which is like my best life hack ever because a lot of people have those phone wallets, but they fall off. But I just usually leave mine stuck to the back of my phone like this. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's missing. So I went and got cookies. I forgot my camera, obviously, so I was taking photos. But I went and got cookies and I went to pay and I keep like sometimes if I don't take my wallet with me, I'll keep like my cards in the back of my phone or cash in the back of my phone. And I accidentally put the card in the back of my phone and I thought I lost it and it's like, $50 to replace them and you have to use them to get everywhere and use your meal swipes and stuff It was in the back of my phone. I was like you're kidding So I was freaking out trying to find it and it was right here the whole time Anyway, I have a lot more work to do. I just have been procrastinating today So right now I really need to focus and get it done I really want to make these vlogs more well-rounded because I feel like I've just been filming in the dorm So I promise what? I feel like we did a lot yesterday. We did do a lot yesterday. Or the target day. The target day was a good one. I don't know, I just get weird. Like, I hope that I'm doing a good job. I need to do my work.